know where you're training for the octagon, dude? Anybody work here? Hello there. Oh. Uh, Kevin asked me to come in and say hello, and uh, maybe I might even find my own comic book in here. Come on over here. Oh, oh yes. Macro. Ooh, looky. It's, it's, it's almost life size. Left <laughs> <laughs> your man. Right. Yeah. You know. Okay, guys, you take credit cards. Oh, we do take credit cards, Mr. West. It is an honor to have you be in our presence at the stash. It's Thank amazing. You. Thank you. You're very gracious. They've even been staring at the doll, passing it around, saying, "You're awesome." We have. You're awesome. <laughs> They've been practicing. They've been practicing. <laughs> For about a week now, since Kevin told us you were arriving at the stage to come sign some comics, I've been practicing how to tell you how much your portrayal of Batman has meant to me since I was a child. Uh, you know, I, I, it's hard to know what to say, except you have my gratitude that we were able to create a show that's been long-lasting and has influenced so many lives in good ways. That's good. The doorway to Batman for a lot of us, particularly of our age, was Adam West. Even before the comic books, I saw the TV show. That was Batman. He was the first drawbridge to that character for me. I'm like you. I lived and breathed Batman, and that Batman was Adam West. I love him to death. He's the greatest guy in the world, man. And he was coming back east for something else, and I was just like, please stop in at my comic book store at the Secret Stash, because I had just written some Batman 66 meets the Green Hornet comic books with Ralph Garman. So, boom, to have them ready and have Adam West tagging those books. We're about to earn off West's back. <laughs> Come over here and sit down. These are the books. Brian, move out of the way. Let Mr. West have a seat. Look at this. It's a Batman Green Hornet crossover comic book. We were hoping that you could sign them and we would be able to peck your brain a little bit. Well, what's ever left up here, sure. <laughs> <laughs> OK, give me a question. My favorite episode of, of the Batman's television series is when Mad Hatter turned the bat cow pink with radioactivity. Holy isotopes, right, Batman? It still tingles. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. West, my favorite episode is the two-parter with you and Robin meet the Green Hornet and Kato. It was awesome. Don't tell Burt Ward this, but I was kind of hoping you'd take uh, Kato on as your ward rather than <laughs> Dick Grayson. I think that Bruce Lee could not have played that role. He was perfectly cast in Green Hornet. That's true. Because it was a show that attempted to be somewhat realistic, where we were only realistic for the kids. Now, with all due respect, Mr. West, I mean, you're obviously the better superhero, but I always thought that the Black Beauty was clearly the superior automobile. Well, uh, you know, I hate to argue with guys like you because obviously you're huge fans, but I think that our Batmobile is the world's fastest car. Mm, yeah. Excuse his ignorance, Mr. West. I'll have him fired later. Thank you very much. Comic Book Man. New episodes, Sundays at midnight, only on AMC. For more exclusive video, go to amc.com.